Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at four new entries into the Batman the Caped Crusader 4 inch action figure line from Spin Master. And very huge shout out and thank you to Spin Master for sending these along for the purpose of this review. Greatly appreciate it so thank you guys very much. Very excited to take a look at these. We have Firefly, Talon, Robin, and Bronze Tiger. So we're a little heavy on the villains here but I, I think it's fantastic. Um, really excited for these villains as well. Uh, Firefly I think looks really cool includes his backpack which I'm very excited about Talon looks fantastic uh, we have another version of Robin I think this is the Damian Wayne Robin we've had a lot of Robin variants in the past we had metallic Robin we had uh, all red which I think is more like Tim Drake red Robin but I think this is definitely uh, Damian Wayne Robin because he has the hood so I think it looks great I'm very excited and then we have bronze tiger this guy just looks so fun just a giant tiger man I am very excited for this guy I think he looks fantastic. They've done a great job. I'm a huge fan of this line, so I'm very excited to take a look at these. Uh, the other thing, if you're not familiar, every figure comes with three surprise accessories. So I'm just going to demonstrate on one and how this works. As you can see, there's a little uh, scissor icon here, and you're just going to pull this down, or you can cut it off if you prefer. And then I'm going to have to cut the tape up here as well. And then you just open this up. And it shows you one, this is the trading card that it comes with. You can see uh, Robin taking out Firefly here. So this is actually uh, perforated. You can go ahead and just pop that out of there. And then you have a uh, collectible trading card there. And you also have these three uh, locker compartments that you can actually pop open and open up. And then you can see that you have uh, an accessory here. So this looks like a Batman mask. And it's neat, there's, uh, I guess, some ink swirled into the translucent plastic. It's kind of a neat uh, design. Makes it look a little, like, worn or battle damaged or something like that. Open up the next one, and it looks like we have a... Oh, okay, this is one of his gauntlets with a fire effect. So this should clip onto his hand. And again, they have that ink in the plastic effect, which is kind of interesting. And then if we go ahead and open this next one, all right, he has his flame gun, which of course makes sense for Firefly. Very cool. Very nice accessories. I love the translucent plastic. And then they have the little ink swirl in there to give it some character. Very cool. So you go ahead and each one of these figures comes with three accessories. They're all going to open up exactly the same way. I'm going to do it off camera just for the sake of time, but I wanted to demonstrate at least on one so you can make sure you collect those cards and get your accessories out of there. I'm going to go ahead, open up all four of these, and then we'll take a closer look. So here are the four figures out of the packaging, but real quick I wanted to take a look at the little insert that comes with each figure. Uh, they have the four missions here. We have Sewer Showdown, Rooftop Rivals, Street Defender, and Jungle Rumble. And then if we take a look at the other side, it's kind of a little checklist of all of the figures. So you can see that they're actually different versions. So, for example, Bronze Tiger, there's two different accessory sets. So when you pick up a Bronze Tiger in the store, you don't know which accessory set you're going to get. That's kind of neat. I think it gives you a little bit of variety. Now, if you have your heart set on one or the other, you won't know until you get home. So that's a bit of a bummer. But other than that, I think it's kind of neat. And I really, really like this uh, Nightwing here with the red color scheme. I'm going to have to try and track him down because he looks really great. And you can see that there are extra armor accessories for Batman here. We have some gauntlets, we have a chest piece, we have a helmet, and you can give him some armor. Very similar to the armor uh, that came with the Batcave playset. So we take a look at these figures. They all look absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to start on the left here and go down the line. Uh, Talon looks wonderful. I love these figures. One, they're a great size. I love the 4-inch size class. Tons of articulation. Paint application is very nice. You have his bandolier here. The mask looks great. These gauntlets have some really nice silver on them. Articulation-wise, the head can move from side to side. You have a hinge and a swivel in the shoulder. You have a hinge and swivel in the elbow. Uh, nothing in the wrist. Nothing in the waist. But then in the hip, you can kick forward. You can kick out to the side. Not really too much going backwards. Uh, you have a thigh swivel. And then you have a hinge and swivel in the knee, very similar to the elbow. And then nothing in the ankle. They're solid from the uh, knee down as one solid leg piece. But I think they look great. And honestly, for the size they are, it's a really nice amount of articulation. 
Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, each figure comes with three accessories. So for Talon, we have uh, two knives. As you can see here, I think they're the same. Yeah, I believe they're identical. So he's got two knives here. And again, these aren't so much translucent, but they still have that ink put into to kind of give them just like a little pattern. He also has this large, uh, I don't even know what to call this, melee weapon. <laughs> it's really neat. Kind of like a miniature scythe or something. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but then my favorite accessory of his, he comes with an owl that has a peg on the bottom of its tail so that you can peg it into the peg hole on his back so it looks like it sits on his shoulder. I mean, that just wins all of the accessories for me. I absolutely love that. That is super fun. It is by far my favorite accessory. I think they did such a great job with that. The only thing I probably wouldn't have put the, the ink into the mold for the owl, I would have liked him to just have been a solid color or otherwise have the paint in like a meaningful spot. Because by just kind of doing this, it looks like somebody just got something on the owl. So that's my only complaint with that, but it's very minor. It's a very nice uh, little detailed owl. They actually sculpted it really well. You can even see its eyes and everything. Very, very nicely done. I just wish he didn't have that little bit of black ink kind of all over him. But otherwise, that's a really great accessory. I'm going to go ahead and pop that back on. I love that. <laughs> I just think that's so fun. So honestly, he has um, kind of four accessories when you think about it. Because he's got the two knives, the melee weapon, and then the owl. So very, very cool. Uh, next up, we have Bronze Tiger. And I love this guy. It's just a really super fun figure. I love the detail. I love the anthropomorphic tiger person. It's all just great stuff. Head sculpt looks pretty good. It looks like he's got uh, pupilless eyes. The snarl of the mouth I think looks good. Tiger stripes very nicely painted. They all have a peg hole on the back. So technically he could have the owl ride on his shoulder as well <laughs> if we wanted him to. Uh, he has pretty much all the same articulation. Head side to side. The shoulder ratchets on him are very tight. Very nice, solid ratchet joint there. He can spin all the way around. He's got a nice bend and uh, swivel in the elbow there. Again, nothing in the wrist, nothing in the waist. And then he's got all the same articulation. It doesn't look like he's going to have a knee joint there, but he does. He's got the hinge. He's got the swivel. And uh, his tail can actually move as well. So you can move the tail around a little bit. It's kind of limited to pretty much a swivel. It has almost a little bit of in and out, but it's mostly just a swivel. But I really like it. Now his accessories are actually really neat. They kind of have this marbling effect to them. I think that's really, really cool. I like that a lot. And then that just clips over his forearm. So we'll get this and then we'll push it back. So he's got this giant claw hand, which looks really cool. He's also got this massive shield, which I think is really, really neat. It's a little warped from being in the packaging, but I feel like I can probably fix that. It just gives the feel like he's from like an ancient civilization or something. I don't know the background of this character, but just like from his accessories, I get the feeling like, you know, there's some kind of like ancient ruins in the middle of the Amazon or, or some jungle somewhere. Uh, you know, where his people have kind of been hiding out. Like, that's just kind of the feeling I get from these accessories. And I just think that's so cool. They're really, really neat. He also has this weapon. Again, I love the look of this. I have no idea what it is. I guess it's like a, a grappling hook. That's my guess. Because it kind of looks like a grappling hook and like this would launch out. It doesn't. It's a solid piece. But the marbling effect on that is really, really cool. I like that a lot. And this just goes in his hand. If I can get this in here. Well, I promise again. I've done it before. <laughs> there we go. So, really cool. I think it's a really neat accessory. And those colors, the green, and I think it's a darker green, almost black. But they just really pop. They look great. So, he's very cool. He's definitely one of my favorites. 
probably take this out of his hand. There we go. All right, so next we'll move on to Firefly. I think they did a great job with him. Really love the helmet design. Pin applications look great. Has his trademark backpack, jetpack rather. You can go ahead and take that off. It just pegs into the back like any of the other accessories. So technically, you could give the jetpack to Bronze Tiger here. If you've ever wanted to see a tiger with a jetpack, because let's be honest, who hasn't? But I also like that it doesn't count as one of his three accessories. He comes packaged with that on, and then the three accessories are in addition to that, so I love that. That's fantastic. Uh, head, again, moves side to side. Really, all the articulation is exactly the same as the others. Really nice. And he has three accessories, which, of course, we already saw. But he has the uh, flame gun, so we'll go ahead and we'll give him that. Whoops. There we go. That looks good. And then he's got this gauntlet, which I guess is the same hand, so I'm going to have to take this back out. He's got this gauntlet, which should clip over. Uh, let's see, maybe like this. Uh, yeah, there we go. We'll bend the elbow. So he's got this gauntlet that shoots fire, as you can see, which looks pretty neat. And then he came with a piece of Batman armor. So this doesn't really work for him, as you can see. But if you have a Batman figure, you can go ahead and clip that on. So that's pretty cool. But I really like the gauntlet, the flame gauntlet. And I like the gun. So I'm going to give him both of these. Now in the comics, and the cartoons, I always see he has kind of like a flame lightsaber type uh, device. Which is an accessory I would have loved to have seen him with. But both of these are really good. And then last but certainly not least, we have Robin. He's got the cape here, and they cut out a hole in the cape so that you can still use the peg hole on his back, which I appreciate. I will say it almost feels like this is a little too low. I guess because they wanted to kind of give him this uh, black uh, molded plastic look to be part of the cape. But it's a nice uh, nylon. Seems very durable, which I appreciate. And I really like the look of the hood. I think they did a great job with that. Now, his head can kind of still move side to side. But it doesn't seem like it moves as much as some of the others. But otherwise, he's got all the same articulation as far as shoulder, elbow, hips, thigh swivel, knee joint. Got the utility belt painted all the way around, which I also like. It's a really nice looking Robin figure. I really like him a lot. And of course, he does come with three accessories. He also has the uh, Batman helmet, this time in a translucent orange. And then he's also got a uh, kind of bladed staff weapon, which I think is pretty cool. And then he also has a set of nunchucks. Which is very much in keeping uh, with the Damian Wayne version of Robin. Since I believe, uh, if I remember correctly, he grew up like around the League of Shadows. So he would have ninja training. So both of these accessories look great. I really like that quite a bit. So all four of these figures are absolutely fantastic. I mean, they look great. Amazing paint applications. Articulation's fantastic for the figure size. Really nice designs. The accessories are great. I don't really have anything to complain about any of them. I think they're great. I've been a huge fan of this line since it started. And I'll keep buying whatever figures they put out. I'm having a great time. It's a great scale. Makes it very easy to collect a lot of them. These usually are about $7.99 a piece, which I think is very reasonable for what you get. I mean, like I said, the amount of articulation, paint applications, accessories for that price is absolutely phenomenal. So I can't recommend these enough. I absolutely recommend uh, checking these out. They have them at Walmart. They have them at Target, Amazon, pretty much anywhere you can buy action figures. <laughs> they have very good representation around. So I can't recommend these enough. I definitely say go out, grab your favorite, grab a couple. Uh, I love these figures, really, really do. So um, again, huge shout out and thank you to Spin Master for sending them, um, 
sending these my way for the purposes of this review. Thank you very much, Spin Master. I can't recommend them enough, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching. Thank you.